What it do, what it do, what it do. Ha <laughs> ha, your boy is back. Yes, I am. I am KQ, KC Boxing Network. I want to thank everyone for being patient with me today as I spent my last day of homeschooling with my grandkids. It's been wonderful. And now it's time for them to get their asses back in the classrooms. And now it's time for me to tell you what this video is all about. Derek James, trainer of Earl, the Truth Spence Jr., and Jamel Charlo, and a few other upcoming champions. Derrick James has been one of the top-notch coaches and trainers uh, that have been around for a long time. And I want to thank him for that. I want to thank him for doing everything he had to do uh, 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 um, uh, this um, uh, uh, last two, three, four years. And I want to say thank you. Now, he has a charge named Frank the Ghost Martin Southpaw Lightweight. And he put on performance the other night on Fox that I had to make this video. The reason why is because he has been doing nothing but touching deep fighters and making them champions. So what do Derry James have that other trainers might have? Or is it the, the boxer he chose or chooses to train? Fucking inquiring minds want to know. But let's talk about Frank, the ghost, Martin. A lot of people don't know about this young man. He's a lightweight. And he's 13 and 0. With 10 KOs. He's from Detroit, Michigan. And he fought the other night stopping Jerry the Joker Perez, who is 13 and 1 with 10 KOs. Hello. And he's from Oak Hills, California. See, in the first six rounds, it was all Martin, for those who haven't seen the fight. Uh, and, and, and Martin. He knew where he was at every point of time in that ring. It seemed like Perez was trying to bewilder a, a, a southpaw. He rarely landed any punches. See, another thing that I neglect to tell you, uh, the Ghost Martin has fast I mean, fast feet. He was spinning Perez all around the motherfucking ring. Ending up on the back of him. Something like Earl Spence. How he does. No matter what no one says about Earl Spence. Earl Spence is one of the best fighters. And the number one fighter in the welterweight division. You can say, oh, this guy, this guy could be Earl. This guy, no. No one can touch Earl Spence, the truth. When he's on, motherfucker, he's on. You can hate him or loathe him, but he is a champion. When it's time to fight, he's ready. Now, you can talk about him all you want to outside the ring. You can call him this and that. Oh, I would never kiss a man, all that. Go right ahead. I don't give a fuck, and I think he don't either. Come when it's time to throw hands, he's ready. He's got the will and he's got determination. And that's what I seen in this young man. You see, my brothers and sisters, this is what I'm talking about. Lead by example. 
Now, I don't have no doubt that Derrick James is a no-nonsense coach. We know that. We see that. But he's a repetition coach. He does things uh, over and over and over again till they make sense to you. He had Martin fighting a damn good discipline fight. Martin broke him down and the ghost basically took him out. In the seventh round, a left hand from Martin on the chin, not Perez down on his damn back. And for a nine count from the referee. Then, upon getting up, Martin was all over him. And they caught a halt. And this was a pretty much one sided fight. They caught a halt because the ghost was pretty much doing what pros do. Now, he hasn't been pro that long, maybe a couple years. And one thing I can say about this young man, if I didn't tell you that, you will watch him fight and say, this guy been fighting for a long time. Where the fuck has he been? Let me tell you where he been. Dallas motherfucking Texas. That's where he been. Now, no matter how you size it up, the motherfucking can fight. And you know, KQKC don't bullshit. You know KQKC is not going to lie to you. For what? Now, light, light heavyweight Olympian, Southpaw, Sir Marcus Brown. You know, he defeated uh, Russia's Drenis uh, 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 Drago's son, Gosha, whatever the fucking name was, in San Diego, California. But anyway, just wanted to tell you that. Uh, uh, but I didn't even know Sir Marcus Brown was still fighting. But Jerry, uh, 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 I'm sorry, but Frank Bruno. I mean, I'm say Frank Bruno. Ain't that a bitch? But uh, is he still fighting? Damn, ain't that a bitch? But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, Derrick James is doing what other uh, trainers not doing. Now, I'm not there while he's training. And I'm not there uh, across the street looking in a damn window. But whatever he's doing, however he's touching these young men, it's in a positive way. He is making champions after champions after champions. Oh, I'm sorry. He did get a belt, uh, Mr. Uh, 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 the Ghost Martin. I didn't neglect to tell you that also. Derrick James, not only should he have been trainer of the year this year, last year too, and the year before that, not only for Earl Spence, not only for Jamel Charlo, but let's forget about them too. What about guys like uh, uh, Frank Martin? Because he's not the only one in that motherfucker's stable. You need to look at all these other fighters. He has another one. He has another fighter. This top notch. That's in the A, B level competition and category. You better stop and fucking recognize that this trainer has something special and touching the young man in a positive way. We need more trainers like that. We need trainers like Sugar Fucking Hill that go along with everything that the fighter tell them to go along with. Tick a lock, don't talk. We need trainers, real true trainers. Make sure, oh, your weight is okay? Are you going to make weight? How's your weight now? I mean, all the all the ducks lined up in the motherfucking row. You can't understand how disciplined Derrick James is. Sure, he'll talk to you. Sure, he'll laugh with you. Oh, he'll fucking joke with you. But when it's time to step in, in that ring, when it's time to spar, when it's time to get in shape, all the laughs stop. All the joy in the air cease to exist. 
sometimes in life, you got to get serious about what you love to do. Sometimes in life, you got to get serious about what you want to be. Oh, and sometimes in life, you just got to be plain, plain, stop the bullshit. I am KQ, KC Boxing Network. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you might as well do it right now. And hit the like button. Let me know that you enjoyed this video. Let me know that you know exactly what I'm talking about. I come on Monday through Friday at 12.30 p.m. And I come on Saturday mornings at 10.30 a.m. That is a call-in show. Call in and tell me what you think about the show Monday through Friday. Oh, baby, it's on this Saturday night. We got ESPN in the building. ESPN Plus is in the house. So with that, I greet you with the ancient word of peace. Assalamu alaikum. And I say shout out to the almighty LDBC.